It's not easy to gain the trust of a cat. Cats are naturally fearful and mistrustful of humans. That's why in today's video, we're uncovering 7 time-tested strategies to help you win your cat's trust. Before we set off on this journey, make sure to hit that subscribe button and join our community of cat enthusiasts. So let's dive right into our first tip, understanding their independence. Cats are solitary hunters. Your purring companion at home still has the traits of their wild ancestors. They thrive on independence and have a deep-rooted instinct for it. But what does this mean for you as a cat owner? Understanding and respecting this innate independence of theirs is a stepping stone in earning their trust. Unlike dogs, who are pack animals, cats need their alone time. They crave their own space, value their alone moments, and need freedom to explore. In fact, forcing too much attention or interactions on them can actually have the opposite effect of what you want. Instead, allow them to approach you when they feel comfortable. Show them that you respect their independence and they'll be more likely to trust you. Let's dive into tip 2, providing a safe space. When it comes to creating trust, cats need a safe space, a little corner in the world that they can call their own. Did you know that when cats feel threatened or stressed, their natural instinct is to hide? It's an automatic response deeply ingrained in their survival instincts. This is why creating a safe private area in your house is so vital for your feline friend. It could be a cozy corner, a secluded room, or even a dedicated spot on a bookshelf. What's important is that this space is somewhere they feel completely secure, free from any potential threats or disturbances. So where should this safe space be? Cats love vertical spaces, so high-up locations like shelves or cat trees can make fantastic hideaways. However, steer clear from places with loud noises, like the laundry room or near the kitchen appliances, as these might cause more stress. Make it cozy, with a comfy bed and maybe their favorite toy. Your cat will appreciate this personal oasis, and in return, their trust in you will grow. Now let's discuss tip 3, establishing a routine. Cats are creatures of habit. They find comfort in predictability. Regular feeding times, consistent play sessions, and a stable sleeping schedule. This kind of predictability helps your cat feel more secure in their environment. And when they feel secure, they're more likely to trust you. But don't just stop at feeding and playtime. Incorporate routine into some other interactions too. For example, if your cat enjoys grooming sessions, try to do them at the same time each day. Even small actions, like a gentle petting session before bed, can become a comforting routine. Consistency is the key. Your cat will learn to anticipate these interactions, associating them with positive experiences. And when you're the one providing these positive experiences, their trust in you strengthens. Now let's explore tip 4, engage in interactive play. Interactive play isn't just fun for your cat, it's simulating the hunting behaviors they instinctively enjoy. It's like a window into their wild feline world. So why does interactive play matter when we talk about trust? It's because when you take part in their play, you're entering their world, communicating in a language they understand and enjoy. And in doing so, you're building a bond, a connection. Plus, it's a great stress reliever for them. Keep in mind, the key here is interactive. That means you're an integral part of the play, not just an observer. Whether you're using a laser pointer, a feather wand, or a stuffed mouse on a string, you're actively engaging with them. When your cat sees you as a partner in their favorite activities, you're not just their caretaker, you're their friend, their ally. And that's a solid step toward gaining their trust. Let's now delve into tip 5, learning their body language. Cats actually communicate more through body language than vocalizations. Understanding your cat's body language can feel a bit like cracking a secret code at first. But once you start paying attention to their signals, you'll realize it's their way of telling you how they're feeling. For instance, a straight-up tail often indicates a happy confident cat. Conversely, a tucked under tail may mean they're scared or anxious. And did you know when a cat shows you their belly, it's a sign of ultimate trust? It's also about their eyes, ears, fur, and overall posture. For instance, dilated pupils might indicate fear or excitement. Ears pinned back? They could be stressed or scared. And have you heard about the feline slow blink, often referred to as cat kisses? 
This gentle closing of eyes is a profound sign of trust and affection, indicating they feel comfortable and safe with you. When you respond appropriately to their body language, they feel understood and secure, which is a major trust booster. Now let's uncover tip 6, speak softly and move slowly. Cats are naturally cautious creatures. Quick movements or loud sounds can startle them, triggering their flight instinct. That's why speaking softly and moving slowly is a game changer when it comes to gaining your cat's trust. Have you ever noticed how cats communicate with each other? They're quiet, subtle, and move with a graceful slowness. This is the language they understand. And when you adopt this way of interacting, it makes a big difference in their perception of you. When you approach your cat, do so with slow and gentle movements. When you speak to them, use a soothing voice. It might seem small, but to your cat, it's a sign that you're not a threat. The slow blink we talked about before? You can use it too. Slowly blink at your cat while speaking softly to them. This will show them that they're safe with you. These might seem like small changes, but they can make a huge difference in how your cat perceives you. And now on to our final tip, positive reinforcement. Your cat is an intelligent creature and responds well to this type of training. Essentially, it's about rewarding desired behaviors, which encourages your cat to repeat them. By rewarding your cat for positive behavior, you're creating a positive association between your cat and the reward. This goes a long way in gaining their trust. But remember, cats aren't motivated in the same way dogs are. While a dog might do tricks for a pat on the head, a cat requires something more enticing, like their favorite treat. The key is finding what your cat loves most. Here's a little nugget of fascinating info, cats have a flavor preference which can be determined by their mother's diet while nursing. So if you're trying to find the perfect treat for your cat, this could be a clue. The most important thing to remember is to reward the behavior immediately, so your cat can make the connection between their behavior and the reward. With time, your cat will not only repeat these positive behaviors but will also associate these happy moments with you. We often think of cats as self-sufficient creatures. But beneath that cool demeanor, our feline friends are really sensitive. Check out this video, where we talk about 10 things that can emotionally hurt your cat. And be sure to subscribe to our channel and join our feline-loving community.